Kitty, Freddy. <laughs> All right. Well, we, I think we're live. Are we all live? <laughs> we're both sitting. I think we're both punch drunk right now. I think so too. We're both like, uh, oh, like <laughs> deer in headlights. Yep. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Stephanie, Stephanie Stitches here uh, for Love It Live. And I have my very good friend, Miss Yvette, here with me today. I'm Yvette. That's me. Uh, Hi. <laughs> thank you so much for being here. It's always a lot of fun when you're here. Yes. I love being here. I'm turning up the brightness and everything so I can read everybody's comments. I'm like, yeah, (laughs) my eyeballs aren't working. (laughs) So hello, hello to everybody who's here. Thank you for coming. We're excited to see you all tonight. We're just going to work on some projects that we need to catch up on and just chat with you guys. And Brenda fully said, girls. (laughs) Hi, Brenda. Hi. <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to hop to the top of the chat and see uh, who we got here. We've got okay, Nancy great. Puss. Hi. And we have Marie Hahn is here. Su- Susan, you're out. Y'all give me a second. I'm going to I'm gonna get over the t- tied tongue thing. Uh, we have <laughs> Pauline here, who apparently is going to keep us entertained while we're sewing. Uh, <laughs> Julie Smith is here. Uh, as we just said, Brenda Foley is here. Teresa Louise. Hey, Teresa. Uh, she's here moderating for us. So if there's any kooky, crazy people, everybody just start calling Teresa and she'll get rid of them. Right. Thank uh, you so much, Teresa. I know it's such, it's such an important thing and we appreciate it. Yeah. Um, let's see. Tracy Albert is here. Uh I love that y'all are all talking amongst each other. I love that. <laughs> That's uh, awesome. Lorray M is here. Hi, Lorray. I haven't seen your name before, so you're new to me anyway. Uh, Jeannie Lipsky is here. Kathleen Kendall is here. Uh, Lupe Withers is here. And if I'm saying anybody's name wrong, I'm so sorry. I do the best I can. Linda Foose is here. It's either Foos or Faust. I'm thinking Foos, but I don't know. It could be either way. And I know that she is a new member of Piecing It Real. So thank you very much, Linda, for uh, joining. And let's see, we've got Linda Parsons is here. Lori Miller is here. The Beehive Buzz. I don't know who that is. Do you know who that is? Um, can't remember the name. Okay, you just <laughs> keep thinking and we'll go, go forward. Um, hi, Beehive Buzz. <laughs> And we have uh, Shirley is here. Shirley is around to it. She has a new YouTube channel, um, yes. or fairly new anyway. We have Carolyn Poli is here. Oh, it just popped to the bottom. Okay, Carolyn. I got it. Oh, MJ is here. Hi, MJ. Uh, Scrunchins, that's Miss Seely. Hi, Miss Seely. Um, yep. Kathy Blow is here. Joanne G is here. Emily's here. Emily is here, is here. <laughs> I love that. Um, I do it every time. It never gets old. Kathy Darla is here. Uh, Lois Quinn is here. Susan Duffney. Laura Miller. Carla Walker. Miss Robin Boyd, who we never get to see enough of. Hi, Robin. Hi, Robin. Um, Pam is here. Pam is Wooly Girl. And Sherry Lacina is here. Uh, blue, 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 blue. Shout out to all my Ohio gals. I saw Karen and Joy and a few other Ohio gals. Thank you. Awesome. (laughs) Ohio peeps. Um, let's see. Della Badger is here from Southern California. Monica Lewis from Pennsylvania. Sandra Kinney is here. Susan Cuffus is here. Stir is here. S T E R R. Or is it stare? Stir, stare. I'm not sure. If there's a way to tell me, let me know. Um, Let's see. Sean's here. Hey, Sean. Hey, Sean. Is that uh, the guy who sews? The guy who sews. He came on last week. He was so sweet and did such a great job. And I hope to have him on again. So it was great. He taught us how to make a bear paw block. And that was a lot of fun. Oh, cool. Yeah. I was on an Instagram live today and he came on. So I oh. saw him earlier today. So yeah. Oh, have fun. Cool. Um, Pauline Sliman is here. Alice Dolan. Judy Gavatas. Gav- no, hold on. 
Gavats, Gavats. Okay, Judy. Hi, hi, Judy. I'm so <laughs> sorry about your last name. I listen. I know it sucks. I'm so sorry. Kathy Cantu is here. Um, <laughs> the Beehive Buzz says my kids say I'm kooky and crazy sometimes. Don't hold it against me. Not at all. That's Lisa. All. That's Lisa, by the way. Lisa, thank you. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> uh, Karen Cox is here. Kathleen Champ is here. Tamla Hannah is here. BJ 47B1 81. 4781. I don't I don't remember who that is, but I know I've seen that name here before. Um, my bad. I'm so sorry. Anne Marie Makowski is here. Agnes Jimenez is here. Um Holy cow, this thing keeps popping. There's so many people here. Thank you guys yeah. for being here. Judy said um, that's okay to get about her last name. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Okay. Um, we have Sue GSD. I'm not sure who that is, but she says, I know Stephanie is from Ohio. Where do you call home, Yvette? I live in Connecticut. Yep. Um, so we're, we're far, we're way too far apart is what it is. <laughs> Tammy Wasnia is here. She's from Chicago. KD Crafts is here. I missed Susan O'Neill Smith. Hi, Susan. I did see your name and I totally flipped past it because everybody around you I've already said hey to. Um, <laughs> Samantha Jenkins is here from Aberdeen, Scotland. Hi, oh, Samantha. Wow, that's cool. I know. We're going to have to like start keeping a list or something. Of all the different countries. Yeah, that would be yeah. fun. <laughs> uh, Math Geek is here. Nana Mona is here from Saskatchewan. Um... Do, 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 do. Doreen Purple Wall. Hey, Kay. Hey, Kay. <laughs> Christy D is here. Um, Susan Stuck is here. Christy, I said Christy D. I just said that. Um, Pam Claire is here. Y'all, I'm about to stop in a minute because Dia Linda Gomez <laughs> is here. We call her D. Hi, D. Um, <laughs> oh, stir like stir it up. S T E R R is stir, just like stir it up. Thank you very much for, for <laughs> providing that because it makes me feel better if I'm saying it right. Um, I think we're getting pretty close. Ingrid Bowers is here. She's also um, a new piece and a real member. Yeah. Don't mind me talking about my peeps. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> Corinne Hartrick is here. Oh, I know what I was supposed to remember. Okay, yep. so I've been saying Colleen Norton, but apparently it's Colleen. Colleen, okay. Colleen. Right. Colleen. I, I just remembered that because you and I were just talking. I hope you, Corey, um, Colleen, I'm going to remember. I swear I'm going to remember. Colleen, we were actually talking about you a little bit. I was telling Steph how hilarious you were. And I I should have remembered then, but I didn't. But now I do. It's Colleen, like Cole, minor's daughter, and then Lean. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. So no, I, we don't want to remember that. Name's wrong, so we don't mean to. So sorry. <laughs> exactly. We try very hard to find yeah. out how to say it and then remember. So we're going to work on that and um take it over it's your yeah. it's your floor girly <laughs> i'm sure there's more people coming in but okay I got to the bottom so of we're just gonna do ufos today and chat with you guys so if you have any questions go ahead and put them in the chat and either um do at stephanie stitches or at yvette renee so we can or the yvette renee so we can see them highlighted but the first question came in for you miss oh lady. really uh, Sue wants to know, how did you like your Judy Neumeyer retreat? Oh, okay. So the retreat was great. Um, I mean, I, I didn't realize, of course, how would you, if you have never been to one? So, um, basically from the minute you arrive <laughs> until like the night before you leave, you're just like constantly sewing. I mean, just like wake up in the morning and they feed us all day long, right? So we get, they feed us breakfast and then we start sewing. And like Judy arrived at like 9.30 or nine o'clock even sometimes every day. And she would sew with us. Like she would be in that room with us till like 9.30 at night. I mean, like we were just, con and she was great. She would answer all the questions. She showed us a whole bunch of different techniques and, um, yeah. So it was, it was really great. And I mean, literally to the point where I had, I kept thinking, when did I think I was going to be able to like film stuff? And then I broke my, my 
uh, tripod camera holder oh. thing. And I was like, oh, well, there you go. Can't make it. <laughs> can't film anything anymore because I had gone outside to film and I was then my hands were freezing because I'm trying to hold my my phone up oh, right yeah. and I was getting like rigor mortis in my hand because it was so <laughs> flipping cold but I like the cold don't get me wrong but it was yeah. like <laughs> it was a bit much um and so oh. yeah it was it was really great if you can afford it I highly recommend that you take one of our classes um, I know that are her retreats. I know that she's completely booked out for 2022. Like she's already booking into 2023. Oh, wow. So, um, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. I'm trying to hold up. I need to like troubleshoot my, uh, internet here. No, you're fine. Uh, why it's, it's just saying that I hardly have any, um, like connection. So I'm switching to a different, Oh, a different well one. in the meantime um somebody said they like the flower behind me thank you very much i'm working on a table runner with the i'm gonna have a few more flowers and these cute little ladybugs and some pumpkins so i'm enjoying doing that um somebody else mentioned and i don't remember who it is i'm sorry because it was way back uh that they like my hair thank you i washed it today <laughs> <laughs> I just it's washed it literally like 40 do. minutes ago. <laughs> I was going to say, it's amazing what you can do if like the kids aren't knocking at the door when you're taking a shower. <laughs> right. The cats yep. do the same to me. I mean, it's different. I know, but, <clears throat> but Spooky Scout can open any door in this house, either yes. whether it's in or out. It doesn't matter. He can push and pull. Dude knows how to open the doors. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um oh colleen said that she likes the the whatever's behind both of us so thank you Aww. it's very nice i love what stephanie's working on too i think it's adorable thank you so cute we were kind of talking about that before we came on as well yes we were <laughs> teeny tiny bit so what are you working on, Steph? What are you doing there? Well, I'm going to make the next couple flowers. Okay. So I got to cut out the little, okay. So most of the time when I do a project, I'll cut out all the pieces ahead of time. Yeah. I did not do that for this. And I'm not sure what in my brain told me not to do, <laughs> but I did it. So I need to cut out, um, some more background fabric so I can, um, make these flower pieces right here. So, oh, cool. That's what I'm doing. So I'm going to do that as we talk and chat with people. Oh my goodness. Brenda Foley just said that that was her daughter that came and dropped off the basket that she did. Oh. I wish she would have said that to me. I would have said, hey, you took a picture or something. Oh. I, had, I thought it was just a delivery person. Oh my goodness. I'm, oh, I'm cool. glad she interrupted and it was fine for her to interrupt. I wish she had like introduced herself. Yeah. I honestly, I had though. no idea because I would have totally like taken a picture and everything. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Brenda, that was so sweet for you to do that. That was awesome. I know. I was like so shocked. Like she walks yeah. in and, and then, then says my name and I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Oh my gosh. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. I'm uh, sure it was very handy up there too, having that warm coffee. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Donna Bogart just came in. Oh, um, really? And let's see. They're all talking to each other. I love that. I, I think I saw Joyce Hernandez come in too. So hi, Joyce. Hi, LeBray and Mary. I see Joyce, yes. Oh, Brenda said, I told her she should have. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she should have. <laughs> I had no idea. Um, oh, a bunch of people saying they sus just subscribed to uh, Sean's channel. So awesome. Thank you guys for doing that. Yes. He does a fun podcast every Sunday. It's real quick. So if you don't have a lot of time, it's a good one to go see. And he updates you on his progress on his project. So pretty cool. Mary's here. Hi, Mary. Bettina Fink just came in. Uh, Robin Bryant. Oh, hey. I, did, I, I didn't see you come in, but you're 
having conversations. So hello. <laughs> she said she's working on the second flower of block number one of my spring mystery quilt. Awesome. Yay. Yay. The next one comes out tomorrow morning. So that's fun. Jackie DBD Stitch Art says, hi, Stephanie Stitches. Hey. <laughs> and Practically Creative just came in. Oh, I finished the quilt I was working on the other day that you guys were watching. I'll have to show it to you guys. Oh. I need to quilt it yet, but um, I finished the top. So I'll show you guys that. Can you see it? Oh my goodness. I Wait a minute. You made that? that? You made that? I made it. I didn't even know you were working on that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I it's, love it. How big is that? And then I used her solid, that uh, aqua solid blue that she's got. Yeah, that's a unicorn poop, right? Yeah, for the the things in the center and then the border. Right. So, yeah. How big is it? It's, um, I think it's like 60, I think it's 60 by like 70. It's like a throw, large throw. Oh, very nice. That's perfect size. Yeah, it covers oh me for goodness. sure. So. Oh, I need to start finding more time to sew, honestly. Yeah. Well, that went together really quick. I did that in like... Yeah, it looks real simple to do. Yeah, I did the whole thing Beautiful. in probably like three, four hours. Oh my goodness. Yeah. See, I could never do that in three or four hours. Oh, you could. It went together really... You, you say that, but I worked on this quilt for a week and still aren't, isn't, I'm still not finished. So, you but know... That's that's different. It's very intricate. This was just, you know, sewing <laughs> squares and rectangles together and then uh, just dashing them and then putting the border. So, well, regardless, it's gorgeous. I love it. Thank you. I like the way it came out. Yep. Very that's Tula Pink. Line work by Tula Pink. Yep. Yep. Do, 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 do. Thanks, Pauline. Hey, Marsha. Doreen said, FPP is a slower process. That's right, I agree. Thanks, Tamla. <laughs> oh, good to know, sir. It, that sounds like a German name, Doss House. She said she went to a quote retreat at Doss House in Columbiana, Ohio. This must be all of them. Cool. Awesome. <sighs> Thanks, Lisa. Lisa Marie's here. Hey, Lisa. I like those ladybugs too. They came out so cute. They were fun to do. I kind of wish there was more of them in the pattern. <laughs> oh, right. You can always throw some on, I guess. Yeah, Maybe. I could. As long as you have enough fabric and everything. I think there's going to be enough scrap of the fabric that I probably could do another one, as long as there's enough background fabric. Or you could even, like, take the inspiration of it and, you know, just make one and, like, make it its own little square or make it into a pillow. Cool. It'd be cute like to that. make one and put it on the back, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That would be cute. Hey, Practically Creative. Saying hi to you and me. Ugh, just jab my knee into the thing there. Oh. <laughs> it's all right. I'm alive. It's good. <laughs> no worries. Uh, Lois Quinn said, I'm working on my last month of the Galactic Explosion Venus from Keepsake Quilting. Awesome. That's a mouthful. Yeah, that is. <laughs> I took her like 10 minutes to type that. Matthew said those ladybugs would make a cool border. That would. Yeah, that's a good idea. They're really, I love the way they came out. They're cute. What, all, what are you guys working on at home? 
Yes. You know what Abet's working on? I'm working on these little flowers. I have to make four flowers all together and two more pumpkins, and then I can put it all together. Sounds like that's going to go together pretty quick, too. Yeah. Oh, Doreen said, just starting using the acorn pen, and it's awesome. Good. Yep. I am converting a lot of people. I'm glad you all like it. <gasps> I wouldn't want to recommend something that people don't like. <sighs> hey, Christy, how are you doing? Your bestie's here. Hey, Christy. <laughs> nice to see you. How you doing? She was singing to me this morning. Oh, was she? Oh, that's fun. She was singing, come on over, come on over, baby. Oh. <laughs> come on over, come on over. She was, he woke up in a good mood and she was like, Aww. ready to that's go. Awesome. Yep. So it's like, I need some of that, some of that energy. Yeah. Please send some over, Christy. We need some energy. <laughs> yeah. Um, Anne Marie Mikowski said she's working on the homemade holiday block three candies. That was the Fort Worth Fabric Studio quilt, the Christmas one. Okay. Cool. That one was adorable. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, Nancy Gus is working on As Luck Would Have It. Awesome. Awesome. We only have one more week. The last week, uh, the last block and finishing is Monday. So. That's fun. They I'm go super like so quick, don't they? They do. And I'm excited to finish this one because I'm going to give it to Henry for his birthday that's coming up in a couple of weeks. Yay. So he's going to be born right after St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Are you keeping it a secret from him? Like he doesn't know? He's well, getting... he's going to be three. He doesn't really know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, he might have seen you working on it. <laughs> no, nah, they're not allowed down here because I have so many sharp things. Right. So I don't let them come down to my space, but um, oh, good. He's going to have a nice little surprise. Yeah. He's my blankie kid. He doesn't, he prefers blankies over toys. So excellent. Me too. I blankie. like blankies over toys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, who else? Love the ladybugs. Sue said, yes, they're so fun. They were so fun. Let's see. Miss Seely said she's working on her teeny tiny log cabin FPP, Ooh, not the awesome. ultra teeny tiny, just the teeny tiny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you for not doing the ultra teeny tiny. <laughs> well, Ray said oh, I'm oh, hand quilting oh, a yeah. mini charm scrap quilt. That's awesome. Oh, that sounds fun. Brenda Foley said trying to get my St. Patrick's door hanger faced and hung up. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, Gina said, I'm trying to figure out what to make with the batik fabrics I won from you. The They were like um, ocean themed. Oh, nice. They're pre too pretty to cut, she said. <laughs> <laughs> Practically Creative said, I'm preparing for my sew along. We're going to do on my channel. Awesome. How, have fun. I hope that goes really well for you. Yes. Christy D said, I'm resting in between my spurts of cleaning and laundry. She said, hopefully tonight I will feel up to work on my quilt some more. Awesome. Linda Parsons is working on Nola Narwhal from Piecing It Real. Ah! <laughs> cool. She's been going to town on your patterns. I know. She's a little nubball. I love it. I don't think I saw you earlier, Delmarie. Hello. Hi, Delmarie. Lori Miller says, I'm working on a bag called Kells John bag. I'm probably saying that wrong by Country Cow Designs. Oh, I've never heard of that one. Kells John bag or Kells John bag. I don't know. I'm probably butchering it. <laughs> Katie Kraft said, finishing the eight zipper bag from Lori Holt's panel. Oh, wow. She had a Jackie panel of bags. Is... I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't either. Jackie said she's working on bowl cozies and cutting tulip pink for a tumbler runner. Ooh, nice. 
Kathy Blow is making a ton of flying geese. <laughs> Emily is here is working on her bunny table topper. Yay! Oh, cool. <laughs> <sighs> The only thing about hearing what everyone's doing is then I want to do it. Yep. I'm like, oh, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tracy Albert said her daughter was born on St. Patrick's Day. She'll be 30. Cool. Nice. Lisa Marie's working on her Olympia cotton cuts. That's funny. At least I was doing that right before we went live. I finished the last clue because I'm like, I better get it done since we just got the notice that the next one is shipping. <laughs> Trying to make sure I didn't miss anybody. Oh, Lisa was, oh, wait, I should be working on the as luck would have it, but making a tote bag instead. Oh. Bettina says she's working on a double pot holder. Oh. Practically creative says, what do you do with a bag with eight zippers? A lot of zippers. You, you zip and unzip a lot. I don't that's a yes, lot of you do. Well, depending on what it's for, if you're putting all your little notions and things in there, I could see you needing. Oh, KD says it's eight bags with one zipper each. Oh, okay. Okay, okay gotcha. we got it. <laughs> <laughs> Sue is doing laundry. Uh Monica Lewis says she's having a migraine. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Take care of you, girly. Take care of you. Yeah, those are terrible. Uh, yeah, Linda said she finished her FPP block this morning, Yvette, and she's working on the Shamrock table topper that we did. Oh, cool. Awesome. Excellent. <laughs> Melina Montoya is also catching up on the Olympia. Seems like a lot of people are doing that. I think we all get the, the notice that the next one's coming and we're like, oh, better get this one. <laughs> Teresa says she's working on cookie art quilt. Oh, the cookie. Oh, that's her dog, the dog one that she was doing. Oh, okay. She's doing an art quilt of her one of her puppies that's passed, and um, it's really neat. She shows it on her channel every now and again. And the puppy's name is Cookie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Making sense now. She was talking about this the other day. She said that she used to oil paint. Oh, and um, her husband, when the puppy passed, asked if she could paint a picture of the puppy. And she's like, no, but I could do a quilt. <laughs> so she's doing an art quilt out of, for, of the a picture of the puppy. Very, very nice. Yeah, it's really neat. I like that. I like the idea of that for sure. Kathy's making a sewing machine mat with pockets. Something oh. for her, she says. I want one of those, but I don't want to make one. <laughs> I got to pay somebody to make one for me. <laughs> what is on my design wall? Um, it's little ladybugs and a flower. I'm making more of those flowers right now. And a pumpkin. It's a fall table runner. My quilting project says she's eating peanuts. Oh, that sounds good. Or he's eating peanuts. I don't know. He, she, I don't know who it is. It's my quilting projects or my quilt projects. <laughs> Doreen says, was the puppy quilt like a mosaic style? Teresa can definitely explain it better. Yeah, um, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I think that's but she takes part. like, it's an art quilt. So she's building it like a piece at a time. There's not like a pattern. She's doing it from, a, I think for a picture of a cookie. Teresa, is that right? And she's like filling in each piece. And she takes like tweezers with these teeny tiny pieces and makes sure the coloring works and all that stuff. It's amazing to watch her do that. It sounds like a mosaic quilt. Could be. That sounds, 
like really cool. I love whenever those when you see those quilts. You I really go don't close to them. You know, you have to go close, and you're like, oh my goodness, you'd never know. Like the whole thing would would make. Okay, it. yeah, I'm not. I don't know a lot about art quilts except that they're gorgeous and. Yeah, that's <laughs> me too. I've not made one though, so I don't know exactly all the terminology and what they're called, but yeah. Ditto. I don't either. Uh, I saw Lois Quinn said I sewed my Clue 8 Olympia this morning doing the Kathy colorway. Awesome. I have the Simone, which is like a purple batik. I'm really liking it. Yeah, that's her Judy Niemeyer quilt behind her. Isn't it beautiful? She's doing so good. <sighs> yeah, I'm supposed to have it done by Friday. I don't know, guys. Everybody pray. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> I'm going to work on it. We'll see. Math Geek said, I had a shirt in the 80s with several zippers just as decoration. I wore it with a pair of zipper pull earrings. I had zipper pull earrings in the 80s, too. <laughs> I remember those. <laughs> The things we that wore we some crazy stuff in the 80s, right? I know. I we had it. such I... crazy clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was like fluorescent. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's funny how things um, come back to because Sarah was um, wearing these jelly bracelets the other day. And I was like, where did you get those from? And she's oh like, my oh, my goodness. She goes, my friend gave them to me for my birthday because she had a couple girls over for her party. Uh-huh. And I was like, oh, you know that we wore like an armful of those in the 80s, right? <laughs> <laughs> What'd she say to that? She's like, oh, okay. Like, I don't know if she believed me. She just was kind of right. like, oh, okay, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> sure you did. <laughs> She's like, the 1880s? I'm like, dude, I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> God, kids. I swear. <laughs> Oh, Carolyn, I'd love to see that. She's working on a carpenter star quilt with love note fabric. Ooh. Nice. Oh, Lori Miller said, I remember those, but she also had safety pin earrings. I wore safety pins like in my ears. Yeah. And I think I even put like a paper clip in my ear. Don't even ask me how it even happened. I can't even tell you to this day how I got them there. But yeah, we did crazy stuff. I used to wear like two and three pairs of earrings in one hole. Oh, wow. I know. I, it's like, you know, the beginning of gauges or something. I have no idea. But thank you for my ear <laughs> thankfully, my ears look normal right now. <laughs> yeah. Not that there's anything wrong with gauges. If you like them, that's that's amaze balls. But that wasn't what I was going for. So, right. thankfully. <laughs> uh, Lisa said, "Making a tote bag because I spent a spent a small fortune on an embroidery machine. At least I'm sewing." <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people are talking about those earrings. They remember them. <laughs> yeah, we did some crazy stuff. Oh, goodness. Kathy said, today I sew, tomorrow I help teach my son-in-law how to cut and lay ceramic tiles for their kitchen. Uh, yeah. You're talented. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Lori, 1880s like the TV show. Yep. <laughs> There's a TV show called 1880s? I, yeah. I've heard something about some 1800s thing. I didn't know it was called 1880s specifically, but yep, that's what she said. She's like, the 1880s? I'm like, dude, I'm not that old. Come on. <laughs> oh, Carolyn said she'd post it when she's done. Yay. Can't wait. <laughs> the Carpenter Star uh, Lala Boutique. That'll be beautiful. Oh, Lucy said she still has the banana clip things for your hair. Ah. I think I had some of those too. 
Oh, I did. I know what she's. Her. I know what she's talking about, and I'm trying to remember if I. I'm pretty sure I did use them. Yeah, I actually had hair back then. I wasn't chopping <laughs> it all off. <laughs> Corinne said, "Help, Steph, in a bet. I have a lot of batiks, and I'm afraid to sew them. People are telling me all different things, and I'm confused. What kind of things are they telling you, Corinne? Yeah, please tell." Lorray said, my nieces sometimes wear paper clips as earrings. Hi, Polly. Polly said she just woke up. She's drinking a cup of coffee. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. My brain wouldn't work. A collage art quilt. That's what it's called. Ah, collage. Very yeah. nice. Thank you, Teresa. Via Linda said, I used, I used to wear the chain belts and bell bottoms with Afro. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The things that we wore. <laughs> I know, the things we did, right? It's crazy. When I see some of that stuff come back, like the bell bottoms and the crazy I, clothes. I know, and, you're all like. I'm just really? like, <laughs> you should have left that. We didn't want that to come back. That's why we stopped wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> um susan it's a pattern and a table runner kit that i'm going to have in my shop the bugs and the flowers i think you're gonna have a lot of takers on that it's super cute <laughs> it just came in so i haven't even put it in my shop yet Tracy said, I still have banana clips and butterfly clips as well. Yep. <laughs> Gold spandex pants. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, my bangs. My bangs didn't even fit in my driver's license picture. Oh, really? Yeah, it was like it was my head. And, yep. then, and then you could see some of my bangs, but then the rest of them were like up here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I probably so like half a can of Aquanet like every day. Oh but, yeah, we all did. Yep. I'm surprised we didn't die from all that Aquanet. <laughs> I mean, we used a lot of hairspray. It's crazy. A lot of hairspray. I mean, yep. That's the only way you can get your hair stand straight up, you know. Oh yeah. If it didn't, if your hair didn't crunch when you were done styling it, you didn't have enough hairspray in it. Well, you weren't done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Skirts over leggings with combat boots. <laughs> I would still wear that right now. I know. A lot of people are saying they still have banana clips. Ingrid said, not sewing tonight, hanging out with nephews. No sharp things around the kids. Yeah, that's why I don't let the kids down here in my studio because I, we, I have little ones and I have rotary cutters and all kinds of things they could get hurt on. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Tammy said, thank you, Steph, for the acorn pen. It saved my life on 600 half square triangles. Wow. Wow. That's, That's a, lot. a lot of half square triangles. Uh, turn. I'm told not to ever wash. Okay, here's what she's asking about batiks. I'm told not to ever wash because they bleed, can't mix colors, they stretch badly, and they make awful quilts. Um, nope. I, well, you know, I mean, I guess everyone has their own opinion about stuff, but I don't think Thank that's you. true. No. I don't think any of that's true, actually. <laughs> the only thing I will say about batiks, and I've um, is that you're not supposed to, because of the way they're die set, you're not supposed to use color catchers with them because the color catchers will actually pull the dye out of them and make them bleed. But other than that, 
Um, I use boutiques and never had that problem. I haven't either, actually. Yeah. I mean, I haven't made a super huge amount of uh, batik quilts, but yeah. I've never had any of that happen no. when I used them. So not really sure. Yeah. You know, the only thing I can think of um, is it may be the same as with fabric where, you know, if you use fabrics that are not like quilt shop quality fabrics, like let's say it's red or something, then you can get some, um, some bleed. And so a lot of, I know that a lot of people will say, just use a fabric uh, color catcher and that'll solve the problem. Maybe it's the same thing with batiks. Like if you um, are using like cheaper batiks because a lot of people don't have the budget to use more expensive ones, then maybe that's why it could have happened. I mean, it's possible. Maybe, um, yeah. You know, that's the only thing I can think of um, yeah. why it might happen. <clears throat> yeah, I've never... Um... I've never had a problem with batiks. I I don't I can't find the quilt. I think it's upstairs actually. I have a batik quilt that has white and pink, two colors of pink, like a hot pink and a light pink, and then green in it. And I never had any problem. None of it ran. So yeah. Hi, hundred proof quilter. Hey, Jonah uh, Crutchfield. Jonah said, if you're going to mix regular quilting cotton prints with batiks, should you pre-wash the cotton? You know what? It's it's interesting because everybody has a different opinion on this. Yep. Um, the only fabric that I have ever pre-washed um, were uh, like digitally printed. And usually they'll tell you that you have to wash them before you use them. Other than that, I never pre-wash anything. I don't pre-wash anything either. Yep. I do press everything before I cut it with best press. Um, and breast press and iron and then cut. Um, but I don't pre-wash anything. Yeah, I'm the same. Hey, Wanda, you're not that late. You're fine. <laughs> we haven't even been on an hour yet. You're good. Oh. Mm -hmm. We're just working on UFOs tonight and chatting. Yep. Taking it easy. Underproof Quilter says, I am currently stuck on a mountain. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do we want to hear the story behind that? That's I kind of want to. <laughs> I, I'm thinking it sounds very interesting to me. Yeah, Nancy Gus said, I've never had a problem with batiks. She said, I think the people that have problem with bleeding is if they use color catchers. You're not supposed to use color catchers on batiks for anybody out there. You can use it on any other fabric because the way the dye process is for batiks versus regular cotton printed fabric, the, the printed fabric will release a little bit of dye when you wash your, but the color catches will catch that. But the way that batiks are dyed, um, 
by hand and they're laid out in the sun to dry. If you put a color catcher in, which color catchers, if you guys don't know, have chemicals in them, including a bleach like chemical, it pulls the color out. And so um, if you wash batiks with the color catcher, it will pull the dye out of the fabric. So not only are you gonna lose some color, but then that dye could get on other fabrics, so. Yeah, you're gonna kind of ruin your batiks. Yeah. At least if, if what you're looking for is, you know, that look that you get with the batiks, you're gonna kind of mess that up. Yep. Cause they're not set the same way that um, printed fabrics are set in a factory. So just yeah. from the way they're made. Oh, Hunter Proof Quilter said, we go up a mountain to camp. It's our annual camping trip and the road is very muddy. So they're waiting for her brother to in-law to come pull them out. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Well, at least it's an adventure. <laughs> I always say with those, when those kinds of things happen, at least it's giving you something to really remember that trip by. <laughs> yeah. Sherry Lucina said, I just finished a quilt with regular cotton fabrics and batiks a few weeks ago. She did not pre-wash and the quilt washed up beautifully. Uh, Dia Linda said, why do you have to wash the digitally printed fabric, Yvette? I have no idea why. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, but it's like, it's um, fabric that I have purchased from Spoonflower, where they um, specifically digitally print all of the fabric as you order it. Um, and I don't know if it's a different process. I mean, the only thing I can think of is it, it must is. be some kind of a different process. Yeah. Um, so they do um, tell you to pre-wash it. And I've also ordered fabric from Hawthorne threads that I think some of it, when they digitally print, you have to, they suggest that you pre-wash it. So those are the only times, <clears throat> excuse me, I got a little frog. Those are the only times that I've ever pre-washed. And I think one of, like one of the times I even didn't pre-wash and it didn't turn out to be a problem, but normally I will listen to what they say. I think I must've been like in a hurry or something, but, um, but that's the only time. And I, that's all I can think of is there must just be, you know, it must just be because of a way that they process it. You know, the printing that they suggest that I, I don't know. Yeah. I never really questioned it. I should, I guess. <laughs> I should be like, why? Why do I have to do this? Why would yeah. you like me to do that? <laughs> Hey, June. June Billings is here. Hi, June. So Anne said, doesn't washing it pre-shrink the fabric? I think that it does personally. And that's why I don't want to wash it before because I like, um, you know, after you have finished quilting it and everything, and then you wash it and it's got that small little pucker to it. I like that. That's why I don't pre-wash. Yep. I like that crinkly look too. Yeah. Now, the one time I would say pre-wash is if you're using, if you're mixing like flannel with cottons, because flannel shrinks at a much larger rate than your quilting cotton does. So you know what if you're going to put flannel that? like backing on a fabric, on a quilt or something on the back of a cotton quilt, I would pre-wash your flannel. I never have. No. No, no, I never have. 
Um, and I don't remember like being disappointed by it. So yeah, I've never done a flannel with a cotton front, but I had a friend who did and hers after she washed it, the flannel really, really puckered in the back and almost caused the batting to kind of pull. Oh my gosh. Bunch up. So, I didn't have that happen. Yeah, that's good. I've made full flannel quilts before, like baby yeah. quilts. Yeah. So yeah. that I didn't worry about it, but because there was two different materials Maybe on my friend's lucky. quilt. I don't know. Yeah. I've done it on like two of them at least. You're welcome, Corinne. Oh, uh, hi, Cass. I think it's Cassiana. Uh, she said, watching while I take out some quilting, I don't like that's that's stinky. <laughs> <laughs> it is. But you know what? Some of, sometimes we just have to do it. Yeah, okay. I've had to do it before and yep. it's a pain, but you'll feel better later about it. Practically creative said, if you do pre-wash, then you have to really iron and starch your quilt if your quilt pattern is intricate. Yeah, I would, you definitely have to iron if you pre-wash. And even if, if you pre-wash or you don't pre-wash, I always spray, I always um, best press all my fabrics before I cut because the cuts come out so much better, the stiffer the fabric is. Yeah. And another thing is like, if you're going to um, pre-wash it, mm -hmm. it's fine to stick it in the dryer, but don't dry it all the way. Like leave it slightly damp so that when you go to press it, yeah, it, you'll, you'll get the wrinkles out a whole lot easier. I completely agree. Cause that could be a pain in the butt. They can, you know, it almost can feel like you've like, <laughs> I don't know, dried the, the wrinkles straight into your fabric and it just makes it harder to get it to lay flat after that yeah I mean you have to spray like the whole thing which could be a pain in the butt yep somebody is asking Sean if you're still here what your wife's YouTube channel is if you could drop it into the um chat that would be awesome his wife is a knitter and so she's got her own YouTube channel for knitting oh, cool yeah that's cool yeah cool that they're both creative but in different ways yeah good afternoon Martha, she, Martha Anderson's here. She said, thought I'd join in. What are you making? I can see a vet is working on the quilt behind her. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> she's working on her Judy Niemeyer. I'm working on this table runner with these pieces behind me on the wall here, the flowers and the ladybugs and pumpkins. Oh, cool. There's a lot of people who are subscribing um, to Sean's wife's YouTube. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. It looks like there's a lot of knitters. Yeah, cool. I love watching people knit. I don't necessarily want to do it myself, but I like to watch it. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. I think um, I like crocheting. Mm -hmm. um, but knitting seems like such a, a mystery to me. I don't know why. And I love watching people do that too. Yeah. Oh, um, Doreen said, how is my new machine working? It's working great. I'm loving it so far. Finally got Black Beauty out and I'm sewing on her. So you guys will start seeing her in some of my videos. You have a new machine? Yeah. I thought I told you. 
<laughs> no idea. You call her you're calling her Black Beauty? Black Beauty because she's black. She's a black girl. Well, I don't cool. mean it that way. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, that came out so wrong. She is black in what color. <laughs> What's that? I think we know what you mean. Okay. We know what you mean. I did not mean it that way, guys. I'm so sorry. Anyway, here I'll put my camera down just a little bit. Hopefully you can see her. Oh my goodness. I totally had no idea. Yeah, it's a she's a straight stitch machine. I've been teaching some people locally how to sew and they come and they have a machine that doesn't work. And I was like, okay, I need a second machine. So I got another straight stitch machine. So I put my white one on the other table for when people sew with me. And I have the black one here that I'm sewing with. Yeah. And so I'll take the white one on retreats and things and just leave this black one set up all the time. And so what kind is it? It's a Janome. It's another Janome, but it's their newer version of like the one that I had. Okay. So that was a 1600 PQC. This is a HD nine and the black was a special edition. So, um, I actually ordered it in white, but the white wasn't available for like eight months. Yeah. And the, the place I ordered it from, um, was like, well, we can't get you the white for like eight months, but they just came out with a black special edition. Do you care if it's black? And I'm like, nope, I'd rather get it now than wait eight months. <laughs> <laughs> so I named her black beauty. <laughs> well, she's all shiny. I like it. I know. <laughs> and I'd love to know how I don't know that you had a new machine. I just, just blows my mind. I mean, it's probably like because I got her out when you were at Judy Niemeyer. That's probably oh, why. That's probably why. Yeah. I was I, I told about. you, I, I, <laughs> you know, I'm sure that's what it is. You thought you told me probably because <laughs> why, why would you not have told me? That's what we both would have thought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Polly said that was the name of her truck, Black Beauty. That's cool. <laughs> so, Joy, I'm going to bring the 1600 to the retreat, and I'm also bringing another machine, um, my Janome 3160, which is a computerized machine for another lady that's coming, that's flying in, that can't bring her machine on the plane. So, I will have a couple machines there. I'm still sitting here going, you have a new machine? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yes. It's going to be another thing that's going to keep me up at night. <laughs> Somebody said, oh, Susan said, my daughter would have named, named it Darth Vader. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good I've one. already got a Vader in this house, though, because our last name is Vader. And my husband was nicknamed growing up Vader. So we've already got one Darth Vader in the house and we have a son named Luke Vader. So <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so I'll just leave that for the boys and I'll call her Black Beauty. <laughs> you know, what's funny is like, I mean, I know why I'm not, I, I, I understand that, you know, probably just to make machines, uniform is the easiest way to sell them to make sure you know that they sell so they're typically they're white but i would love if they would have like a pink one or like a teal machine or something yes. like that you know or like yes. if somebody would come out with like yeah you could buy a machine but then like buy a skin to put over it or something i don't that's know that's a great idea but that's why i have fun with the stickers because you know it's like yeah. i you know, I mean, I love my machine. Don't get me wrong. She's beautiful, whatever. But, yeah. you know, she needed something. <laughs> so, yeah. just, so I'm always putting new stickers and stuff all over her and I love it. I like the idea of a skin. That's a great idea. Yeah, right? Yeah. I think that's why I'm totally liking your black one because you don't ever, you don't really see that. I mean, I don't personally think I've ever seen a black sewing machine except for, you know, the ones that they had like way back when, like the singles yeah. or whatever that the had the like little on it. You know, I've, I remember seeing some like that, but yeah. like as far as, you know, a current domestic machine, I, I don't remember seeing black ones anywhere or any color. Right. Other than white. Yeah, I like it. Yep. I know when they told me you can either get 
get it in black or wait eight months. I'm like, I'll take the black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? I'll take the black. <laughs> really? I mean, honestly, it sounds like it's, you know, I don't know. You, it, it would have more personality if you ask me, because they're all just look the same after a while. They do. Yeah. We should probably start calling all of the manufacturers and saying, hey, how come there's not a pink machine? I mean, they put like um, the ones that came out with the with the kitty paws on it. Oh, yeah. The only thing is, it's only Bernina. Yeah. That, who does that? Which, you know, anyway, we're not going to get into the Bernina thing again. I think you should like run with the... Oh, the skins. Phew, excuse me. Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. I think you should run with the skin thing. I love that idea because when you like, I don't know about everybody else, but every now and again, like I get a hankering to change decorations, like in my house or move my room around or this or that. Yeah. I think it would be fun to change like the skin on your sewing machine. <laughs> right. I think that would be a great idea. I'm going to start, I'm going to, I'm going to start feeling that out. <laughs> I think you should. I would totally Fill that out because yeah, they, I mean, they came out with them for computer, uh, like your laptop. So why not? Yeah. Uh, my quilt project said, Ooh, a Barbie pink machine. <laughs> Or like a hot pink Libs Elliot, right? Look at this. Right? Ingrid said, I love the idea of sewing machine skins. Yep. Yep. Oh, we're right here first. I'm uh, yep. to figure out what I'm going to do. <laughs> Joy said, um, the ever so sewing machines, sparrow machine comes in teal and pink and she has the teal. Oh, oh cute. I hope you're bringing that one to the retreat because I want to see it. <laughs> All right. What's it called again? Hold on. I'm looking. The sparrow. The Sparrow. Who makes uh, that? Everstone brand. Oh, Everstone. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Dee says her brother machine has Disney on it. Ooh. Well, that's because they're yeah. It's made by own people. That's why. Lori <laughs> has her had hers painted. Okay. Obviously, we need it needs to happen because everybody wants to personalize right. their machine. Oh, um, I think they're talking about the cricket that you could make like stickers for your machine or whatever. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. Yeah, you're right. Lanigan said the problem is there are so many different shapes. Sewing machines, it would be hard to make skins that fit them all. That's true. Whoever makes them would probably have to make just a few general sizes and then, yeah. It could be that it doesn't have to like, you know, uh, maybe cover the whole machine. Maybe if you could yeah do like certain parts of it i mean at least it would be a start you know yeah i know i don't have my super stuff sticker on this machine i gotta get a new one <laughs> <laughs> Mm 
Yes. Dealin is right. Like the kitchen made mixers that come in all the different colors. Yep. Yep. Oh. Colleen said, I, what I've learned tonight is I behave better when I spend the entire live with Jack. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That girl, Kooky, yeah. I love her. Oh, <laughs> Jackie said, my brother has eyelashes on her. My granddaughter's suggestion. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, that's a cool name. Susan Yearout said another quilter she knew had a green sewing machine, so she named it the Green Lantern. Oh. That's cool. That's nice. I would do that. Oh, wow. Um, somebody said I had an old treadle machine in my shed for years. Don't know where I got it. I looked up the serial number and it's from 1911. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> Jay Bad Seed said, hi, Stephanie and Yvette and all you quilters. Thumbs up, everyone. Thank you. Hey, Natalie. Oh, Doreen said, Yvette, how's JB? JB is sleeping right here. Hold <laughs> up. Well, let me do, let me put my uh, magic juice in my pen here and then I'll show you all. <laughs> I could turn it a little. Oh, Sue says she has a teal, pink, green, and she has teal, pink, green, and blue vintage machines. That's awesome. You got all the pretty colors, girl. That's right. <laughs> all right, let's see if I can turn this. A minute, just so y'all can see them. Oh. Practically Creative said the only sewing machines that come in colors are the cheaper machines aimed at beginners or kids. Yeah, my daughter had a beginner Janome, one of those ones that cost like $50 that was teal and purple and she graduated to my original machine and she's like I wish this one was purple like my old one <laughs> okay there he is he's sleeping sorry you're seeing the back of him but he's around. <laughs> <laughs> hey, JB. if he wakes up I'll make him come over <laughs> <laughs> He's over there going, why is the whole table moving? <laughs> I was sleeping and now you're shaking me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Mom, mom, what are you doing, mom? Stop it, stop it. <laughs> hmm. There it is. I was missing a square and it fell on the floor. I can share something that is going to make y'all realize what a spaz I am. Oh, okay. Okay. So when were weren't we on a live with you when my Aliso like blew up? Yes. Yes. And started like smoking and everything. So <laughs> so I had to get a replacement. So I got this Rowenta, which I'm really loving. He's it's really cute and you know. Um, so I got it and I had been, you know, like using it for, I don't know, a couple weeks or whatever. And, um, so when I was, uh, packing up to go to the Judy Niemeyer retreat, I, um, I was packing, packing it up to, to go. And I realized that there was like a piece of paper that they put on the bottom before they pack it. And I had 
never taken that off. And I kept thinking to myself, why is the bottom of my iron so brown? Like what's going on? Oh, goodness. At least two weeks, you guys, that I was ironing with the paper on the bottom of the iron. This thing isn't getting all that hot. Why, why, I, I don't know why it's not that hot. It should be, I mean, it's a thousand watts. Should be like, true story. Can't make that up. Funny. <laughs> you, can't, you can't make that up. You really can't. I, and, and you'd swear I had never used an iron before. Like I had never <laughs> gotten a new iron in my life. And I'm just like, I, I, I'm like, you, and I didn't tell you guys for like the longest time because I, you know, I mean, I, because it's embarrassing. And I was like, I can't believe this. So let me tell you something. You can have been sewing for like your entire life and, and still do stupid things. So don't think it, that, you know, that that stops because that <laughs> obviously it doesn't stop. I can't believe, I still could believe it. I was like cracking up, almost peed myself. It's like 11 o'clock at night. I'm packing and, you know, trying not to make any noise because Jim is sleeping. Yeah. And I'm like, you can't make this up you just can't <laughs> that's really funny <laughs> now you've got a really good story <laughs> why is the bottom of my iron so brown <laughs> i'm not gonna like blow the house up do you know iron, yeah I, I have no idea how bad it was because iron. i mean i get it was oh fine now so i guess it's okay but i was like this is the craziest thing ever <laughs> i believe i did this yeah yeah, that was pretty good. And I just feel like I have to share those things because people <laughs> think they're the only ones who will do crazy stuff like that. No, no. Oh, no. no. <laughs> well, see, now you told a lot, everybody so other people won't do the same thing. That's right. <laughs> You were, you were at the bottom of your new iron to make sure that you've taken off the paper that they put on it to protect the soul plate. <laughs> you were taking one for the team, girly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lordy have mercy. <laughs> oh, goodness. That was funny, though. I <laughs> know. I thought it was funny at the time too. I was cracking up laughing at myself. I was like, I cannot believe I did this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's cute. Iron, what what kind of rowenta is it? Theolinda wants to know. It is. It says Rowenta first class, vertical steam. Um, that's all it says on it. Okay. But it's it, like a mini one. It's a mini one, right? It's, it's little. So yeah. like there's my hand. It's like about the size of my hand. Um, and it's great. I love it. I usually just try to find, uh, so it, it, it doesn't turn off. Right. So it stays on, which I really like. Um, and I'm, I'm really religious about unplugging everything. So if you're not, then maybe that's not such a great thing, <laughs> but, um, but I'm really religious about definitely like everything in this area gets all, everything gets just unplugged. Um, so make sure you unplug it if you're going to get one, but I also try to look for something that's going to be like the highest wattage possible because I do yeah. it you really need to have a very hot dry iron yeah. um so this one i think this one is a thousand watts so it's definitely not as powerful as my full size because my full size rowenta over there is i think it's 1750 watts i could be wrong but it's either 1750 or like 1900 something like that um but it still gets really pretty hot and I only use it when I'm on live, uh, you know, making videos. So it's, it's very nice right here in this area so that everybody can watch. Are you going to bring that to the retreat? Uh, yeah. Oh, cool. I haven't seen one of those in person, those little mini Rowentas. Yeah, I'll definitely bring it. Cool.
And it's like, as, lo- as much as I like Aliso, which I do, um, I just like Rowenta better. I just always have, but I, I still yeah. like the Alisos, but um, I just, I don't know. I think Rowenta was like my first like high end uh, uh-huh. iron. And so, you know, as, in, unless something like goes terribly wrong, I do tend to have loyalties, like same as with, you know, my baby lock. I never had any problems ever whatsoever with any of my baby locks. So that's what I prefer. And it's so much easier in my mind. Um, so it's the same thing, you know, it's like, I do have, uh, cause, oh, did I tell you that I finally got the Oliso that I uh, ordered? Yeah, I was going to ask you because I got mine yeah. too. Because it, you know, it's the turquoise one, and you and I were talking about how yeah. all the other ones that come in, and we're like, of course, the one we order is going to be the last yeah. one that's going to arrive. Um, but yeah, so I did finally get mine. I haven't even taken it out of the box to tell you the truth. Oh, I was like, I was like do I want to keep it? Do I want to sell it? I mean, I think I'm going to keep it, but you know, it did kind of cross my mind where I was like, you know, I've got like. <laughs> Well, I have to tell you that I had the Aliso, the original Aliso Pro. Yeah. The yellow one. And I've had that sucker for like eight years. And it's great. It's still fine. It's just not getting as hot as it used to. Ah, okay. But I've had it, like I said, for a real long time. Um, I took the new one out of the box because, yep, I was waiting for the blue one. <laughs> <laughs> and I started using it and it is so hot that even, you know how it has the feet that it lifts itself? Yeah. I put it on my ironing board and I set it there and it lifted itself. After a couple of minutes, I was, I had left it there because I went to go get something else to iron. And I came back and I was like, what is that smell? And I picked it up and it had scorched this ironing board cover. Oh my goodness. That iron gets so hot. It's crazy. I've never, it's, I like it because it's so hot, but I was like, oh my gosh. So I've got because you're supposed of, to be able to leave it like that, right? I know, but on the end of my ironing board, I've got an iron rest that's made yeah. out of metal. Yeah. And so I just have to remember to set it on there. Else, like it, like I said, it scorched my ironing board cover. I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Even with it up on, on its feet, like, like I wow. was like, oh my. That's how hot this new one gets. I was like, oh my goodness. I love it. Very hot. And this one has, the original one had a metal sole plate. This one has a ceramic sole plate. Oh, nice. So it's like non-stick. Yeah. If you do a lot of fusibles or something. Right. Yeah. That's good to know. Yeah. I was thinking the other day, I was wondering if my original Oliso ever got that hot. And I just don't remember because it's not been that hot for a long time. Right. Well, I think you'd remember if it had scorched your ironing board before. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, that just seems like something you'd remember, but maybe not. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to get that hot. Somebody says it's supposed to get that hot. It is. But you wouldn't think that it would scorch your ironing board when it's up on the, because that's how, that's why it's supposed to lift up. I know. Not scorch things. And so you'd think that, I mean, maybe it just doesn't get high enough. Like it doesn't lift itself high enough or something. It might not be because I've got a pretty thick pad on my, on my uh, ironing board. So that could be my fault. Oh yeah. Okay. Natalie said the hotter, the better. Yes. I love it. I agree. Yeah. Uh, Stephanie Smith said she's got the small Aliso and it gets really hot and she loves it. Yeah. My, my little Aliso did get hot. Yeah. It gets hot. Until it, it, it practically exploded on camera. <laughs> yeah. That was crazy. I mean, I literally thought I, I kept thinking something's burning, like something's burning. Yeah. And then I saw the smoke coming up from my, 
<laughs> like, oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> that was kind of crazy that day. It was all on camera, dude. It's all on camera. We were all like, um, okay. <laughs> I'm smoking back there. <laughs> smoking hot, girl. And then it wouldn't, I mean, obviously it would turn on, but it wouldn't get hot at all. It just stopped. Yeah. It just stopped working. <laughs> and I have to say, I only had it for like a year. Or yeah. So. I mean, I didn't have it that long. I'm not trying to badmouth Aliso. I mean, things happen, you know. Yeah. But I just <laughs> I just thought it was kind of funny. I mean, it was funny after when nothing burned down. <laughs> <laughs> you know who I am mad at? Who's that? Keurig. Oh, yes. You were telling me about your Keurig. Oh. Our Keurig died, and this is the second one, and we looked back to see when we had our last one replaced that died, and it was last spring, like in April, and now this one died. I'm like, why does this machine keep dying? We're doing it everything you're supposed to do, cleaning it the way you're supposed to. Well, maybe that's the problem, because I don't ever clean mine. Oh, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't clean it then. <laughs> I mean, well, they'll replace I it, which is, which is good, because it's still under warranty, but it's just frustrating, because like, I'm like, I need my coffee. <laughs> I know. I, do, I don't think they make things like anything the way they used to anymore. Yeah. I mean, like, like yeah. nothing. It's And I don't know what the deal is. I really don't. I mean, you'll hear stories about people who've had like the same washing machine and dryer for like 20 years you could yeah. never buy anything these days and expect it to last 20 years i mean you just can't and i don't know what the i don't know what's what's changed but yeah. it's like and it's for like everything it's everything it's not just the keurig i mean that's just the latest of you know things it's like you're lucky if something lasts a year anymore yeah oh so yeah is here hey so yeah hello he said they've only seen one sewing machine skin i don't know if it's brody or who it is but only seen one sewing machine skin in their life and it was for a bernina 215 oh okay. so they have them already bummer pie <laughs> so if you guys are wondering where i got my black hg9 i got it from so yeah oh i had no idea about that either yeah girl you need to start talking to me more i don't know what you do <laughs> So if you guys are looking for a sewing machine, whether it's the Janomis or the Jukis, they sell all of them and they're great to deal with and they'll give you a good deal. So I got it from them and it shipped really quickly and I love it. Do any of you have a FAF performance icon? I do not. Oh, it's Tinkum. Hey, Tinkum. Good to see you. <laughs> There's not too many people who have FAFs in my area. How about by you, Yvette? Are you guys seeing Jelly Bean? Because I just want to make sure. <laughs> 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 um, I'll be honest. I think that there's, does FAF does Husqvarna as well? Yes. Okay. I think that there is a FAF, FAF Husqvarna. Um, that's at the quilt shop. Like my, there's a, you know, I go to more than one quilt shop, but my closest local quilt shop, I think is um, like a distributor for them or whatever you would call that. Yeah. That's the only one I've ever seen ever. So, yeah. Okay. So somebody earlier said that they were doing a marathon of YouTube today and they had come from a different channel before they came here. And somebody said, where do I go next? Well, you can go to So Yeah Next. They start at eight o'clock and they do a fabric sale every Saturday night. So if you're looking for somebody to go watch, <laughs> My machine is a Janome. I'm a Janome girl. Um, kind of like um, 
what Yvette was saying with her iron, she got used to Rowenta. I'm kind of like that too with my machines. Uh, people have tried to convince me to buy other machines, but I love my Janomis. So all of my machines are Janomis. And this one is the H this one's the HD9. I'm sorry, what's that? I was like, all mine are baby lock. <laughs> yeah. I think we just, if, you know, we just get like, I know people that have multiple different brands of machines and they love them. And that's great. I just get stuck kind of like a vet does where if I find something I like, I'm a creature of habit and I keep going back to it. Yeah. I'm a pretty loyal customer. Yeah. Like something has to really happen <laughs> for me to not continue on the way I've always been. So Oh, Tracy said tonight it's at 7 p.m. Okay, they're going on a little bit earlier. I have been so busy this week. I haven't paid attention to anything going on, so don't ask me. <laughs> yeah, and you're gotcha. going to be busy for a while. What's that? I said you're going to be busy for a while, too. Yeah, until the retreat is over. Um, I'm going to be busy until the retreat is over. Yep. But it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Me too. Yep. Christy D said, all of minor singers. There you go. See? Yeah, I think it's I think we're all just creatures of habit, you know, I think so, too. My grandmother was a Husqvarna lady and she would not buy anything except for Husqvarna. I just you get used to what you like. And yeah, absolutely nothing wrong with that. Oh, practically creative sets. He income set at regular times tonight. OK. I've actually never tried a Rowenta iron. I can't wait to see yours. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I could bring the big one too. That could you, be fun. Yeah, and you, I mean, because I mean, I'm driving, so it's not like. Yeah, I'm going to bring the, um, probably not the brand new one, but my older Aliso. Yeah. And then my small mini iron, so. I don't mind if people want to use it. However, fair warning, before I even get there, no liquid goes in any of my irons, period. Right, right. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I really don't mind if people use my iron, but no, no water, no nothing. You want steam, yeah. spray it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there seems to be some... Uh conflict as to what time they it says one thing i guess on their youtube and different things that as far as the time they start tonight so seven eight nine go check out their channel and you should find out <laughs> yeah just go over it if it's not there yet wait an hour yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that just means you have to sew for another hour darn <laughs> <laughs> what a problem yep <laughs> Okay, what am I doing here? I need to cut some more squares. Hi, sweetheart. Yeah, did daddy not feed you? I bet he did. <laughs> did you tell him it's dinner time? It's way past dinner time. Did you tell him? No, he's not listening. <laughs> I can't go right now. Oh, Joanne said she just got the text. It's starting at seven Eastern time. Okay. So yeah, it sounds like they're starting a little bit early today. Yeah, baby. Are you sure you didn't get dinner? Oh. 
Are you sure? Mm -hmm. We might have mommy, but we want some more. I know. I don't. I have no idea. I mean, I don't understand why <laughs> we wouldn't have fed them. I mean, for goodness sakes. Oh, the cats did that to me the other day. I came upstairs from the basement and all three of them were hounding me. And I was like, baby, you just clawed me. I was like, didn't you get fed? And they kind of looked at me and I'm like, oh, maybe they didn't. So I gave them a little bit. And then Keith was like, no, I already fed them. I'm like, oh, little stinkers. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we do snack them like all day and night. So it's our own fault. <laughs> They talked me into it. Jelly bean. <laughs> he knows how to be annoying enough that he will make you come. You know, like if you yeah. don't. Yeah. This is exactly why I can't do like Zoom classes as well. If you watched, if you were part of the one that I did last year for her um, New Horizon. Uh, I literally had to get up. I mean, I was, I was having like, you know, it was like four to six hours, you know, each day. And it was like two days. Uh -huh. I had to like get up and go and feed them because he wouldn't leave me alone. And I'm in the middle of this class and, you know, and Jim wasn't home. And yeah, it was <laughs> like, this is why I can't do this. <laughs> and he doesn't know, you know, they don't know. Right, right. <laughs> All he knows is that he wants to eat. <laughs> so speaking of Kitty, somebody asked how little Sweetie is. You know, she's fine. She still comes for every meal, but she won't come back in the house. At least not yet. Uh, She'll keep trying. Um, and it's it's so funny because she and Spooky Scout will like sniff each other every time we open the door. But I'm just, you know. Yeah, I don't I don't know what his dealio is. Like he didn't know who she was. Give me a break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you like sniff her and lick her nose every time you see her, but you don't know who she is. Oh. Uh, or he is. I'm sure it's a boy. I have to stop saying she, but I'm just so used to it now. Yeah. You think it's a boy? Well, I mean, think about it. Unless, like, and I don't think she's feral. Did I tell you that? Yeah, There's you said that. Yeah, there's yeah. no way she's feral because she like literally like came in the house, ate some food, went under the um, dining room table and still let us like, well, she let me pet her and everything. So I, I just don't think she is. She doesn't, no, have she doesn't act like a, a wild cat. No. Yeah. So, I mean, it's possible that she is a girl and she belonged to someone else and they fixed her. Um, but if that didn't happen, then she's got to be a boy because I've known her now for what, two years and she's never been pregnant. So, okay. yeah, I'm that thinking makes sense. one of the two, something's just, you know, just doesn't add up. Yeah. Did you feed them? Oh, he didn't feed them. I may have to go do that. Pauline said JB looks intense. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Practically creative stuff. JB is posing for his public. <laughs> he does that. He does. It's like he knows where the camera is. Oh, awesome. Wanda said she's finishing up the Valentine's box table runner. Nice. Oh, cool. You know what? I love that. I love that box. Thank you. Everybody's asking what JB's staring at. <laughs> Nothing really. I don't know. Just at you until you get up and get him a snack. <laughs> oh, well, he wants dinner. That's what they want. He wants dinner. Yep. Yeah. I don't know if little sweetie's outside. She might be. He might be. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll finish pressing this one piece and then I'll go feed him. Although if I feed him, he won't be looking like this on the camera. Right? <laughs> then he'll go and eat and he'll never come back. <laughs> oh, he's looking right in the camera. We can see his eyes. <laughs> well, we'll be done here in a bit because so yes coming on. Okay. 
So they are going like at seven our time then. It looks like it, yeah, because okay. people have said they got their um the text okay. about them coming on at seven. So no problem. JB, can you wait like 25 minutes? 25 mm -hmm. Try not to overlap other creators. All right. JB, I'm just going to keep sewing and then we're, I don't think that you're going to pass out. I'm oh, just goodness, Natalie. Natalie said she's so allergic to cats, she has to like go to the hospital. Oh, my Lord. Oh. Well, I hate to say this, but maybe stay away from cats. Yeah, well, she said that. Yeah. <laughs> That's a sad thing, though. I would be very sad. Yeah. I think I would be very sad if I were allergic to dogs, too. Although I don't think yeah. that people have that kind of allergy as much as they do cats for some reason. <clears throat> That's another reason I have a door on my studio, because I don't let the cats come down here. Since I do do stuff for customers... I do worry about people having allergies because our one cat storm, he sheds all over the place. He's a little nutball. <laughs> JB, this is going to go smack onto your feet. Because I'm chain piecing. Do you know what that is? Do you know what that is, buddy? <laughs> oh, Heather Grin said she's allergic to dogs. Oh. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. I'm sad for you guys. I know. I know. I feel the same way. Uh, Tracy Albert said she had a cat named Storm. Awesome. <laughs> And Storm is beautiful. He is, he is very pretty. Um, he is such a nutball. He's like our crazy one and, but fun, like fun kind of crazy, but he's just nuts. You can go lay down again because you're like, oh, mama's starving me. I might as well take a nap. <laughs> I'm just a terrible mama, huh? No. Keep us sewing and sewing. Don't feed me. <laughs> I even let her know I'm very hungry right now. Your kids are definitely not starving. <laughs> well, you and I know that. <laughs> <laughs> they think they are, but they're definitely not. i right now. I have some chicken defrosting. I think I'm going to go and like cook some kind of something chickeny for Ooh, dinner. That sounds good. Yeah. Hopefully I'll make enough that it'll last a few days. Yeah. That's always nice if you can make extra, you know, and not have to cook for a couple days. Yeah. It doesn't really happen here since we have so many people, but. <laughs> we pretty much eat separately so yeah the only leftover i get is like salad or vegetables because that's the one thing they won't touch <laughs> amen
Oh, Heather said she's going to cook chicken noodle soup tomorrow. That sounds good. Oops. It's going to get cold good. here again on Monday. So that sounds real good. Oh, nice. Joyce said her granddaughter and great grandson are taking her out to dinner. Oh, that's nice. Nice. Joyce said, my dog is about 50 pounds and still afraid of my nine pound cat. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, Tamala said she's making baked spaghetti for four hungry teenagers. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. That does sound good. She doesn't live that far from me. I think she should bring me some. <laughs> <laughs> Colleen said her husband made burritos tonight. Oh, yum. She says she makes chicken with wild rice, carrots, and pea soup. Oh, well, that sounds good, too. Susan's having chili. Nice. Eat tonight after a day of cleaning. Okay. Oh, that sounds good, too. Jim made cookies and brownies today. Who did he? Yeah. I had a brownie just before we came on. Nice. That sounds good. Yeah. It's just a box mix, but they're good. I like them. Yeah, but it sounds oh, real good. Yeah. Oops. JB, you're so good, baby. Trying to find finish one more flower before we have to go here. <laughs> okay. JB is being very good. Aw. <laughs> very patient waiting for mom. Yeah, doesn't always happen. So I'm very thankful when it does. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Janet Johnson said, just had my breakfast, ham and cheese toasty. She must be in Australia or New Zealand. <laughs> I believe Australia, but I'm not 100% positive. Well, you'd have to like, make noise for him or something. Well, the food is down? Yeah. Well, now they're not going to eat it. Who's down there? Nobody. So you fed them when nobody was there. You need to be responsible. You're the daddy. <laughs> JB, daddy put some dinner down. 
Okay. Well, Susan said we go from sewing to patterns to machines to dinner all in one video. <laughs> <laughs> Variety is the spice of life. <laughs> That's it. Never know where that conversation is going to take you. Right. <laughs> okay. So you fed little sweetie? Yeah, she's not there. I'm not sure what's on uh, so yeah tonight, Natalie. It's always their D stash night on Saturdays. Colleen said she's going to have to torment her husband and her son because we've been a bit too calm tonight. <laughs> That's funny. Going to be a warm day here in Western Australia. Uh, how about all of you? 35C. What does that um, translate to in Fahrenheit? Do you know? Oh, he's... I used to be good at like, at least estimating. Mm -hmm. Jim, are you listening? Do you know what 35 Celsius is? He must have his headphones on. I can't tell there's a glare. Oh, okay. He tries to ignore me as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when we're on a live stream. <laughs> Patty, I'm going to put those in the shop tomorrow, hon. Oh, Janet said hot. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's funny. That's okay, so I, I finished another mine. flower. I love it. Oh, my goodness. What is the fabric you're using? This is, I can't remember the name of the fabric line. It's really pretty, though. Um, is it Riley Blake? Like, is it yeah, it's Riley Blake. Because it's, a, it's a line. It's a line. It was one of those lines that you, if you see it, you, like, in a catalog, you're like, eh. oh, Indigo Garden. Okay. But when it came, I was like, oh, it's really pretty. <laughs> yeah, that happens a lot. Yeah. So I got two flowers done now. So they, they're a little fussy. They take a little bit of time because there's a lot of pieces, but so cute when they're done. Yeah, it's worth it. They're pretty. Oh, yeah, totally worth it. So I have two more flowers to go and two more pumpkins and then I can put it all together. So super excited about that. Yay. <laughs> um, Brenda Foley said, oh, Celie said 95. Brenda Foley said, so 90 maybe. So hot. <laughs> I was thinking something like 90, but yeah. yeah. Thank you, Colleen. <laughs> Colleen said her husband heard me and said, you're dead meat to her. <laughs> oh gosh. That's funny. <laughs> Somebody said it was 71 in Kentucky today. Yeah, we got, um, I think up to 69 today, which is really unusual for this time of year. Tomorrow it's supposed to be a little bit lower and then Monday it's supposed to snow again. So Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this I weather we might get snow, but yeah, the weather's kind of been so strange. It's been back back and forth, but this is pretty extreme to go from like almost 70 down to like snow again. So yeah. Sammy. Cussy baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're in here. Come on. Yeah. Oh, 95 per Google practically creative said. Okay, that's 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 hot. <laughs> Baby. And you said there's not a lot of air conditioning in Australia. Not a lot. I mean, like if you go to malls, they'll keep it kind of cool in there. Um, and some restaurants, um, but a lot of the open air seating, you know, they don't, they just keep it open. Okay. So it's open air. Um, gotcha. 
So you have to wear a lot of deodorant over there. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> yeah. You kind of get used to it though. And then your, your body sort of adapts, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's, it's much worse in the beginning when you're not used to it. And you're like from America where, you know, there's air conditioning everywhere. And I know like when we first came back here, I mean, I felt like a popsicle everywhere I went. <laughs> it was like, it was so flipping cold in everywhere. Right. Yep. And it was like, it'd be like the middle of summer and I would be frozen in a restaurant. I mean, it was because that's, yeah, you know, and of course now I'm used to what it is now, but you, you just, you adapt after a bit. So. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's how I was when I moved back from Arizona, I was freezing all the time. Mm. So, and now I'm like, I don't want summer to come. <laughs> yeah, no. Totally. Heather, I'm sorry to hear that. Heather found out that her father has cancer. Oh no. I'm so sorry. Yeah. That's terrible. So how'd it go? Did you get some done? Make some progress on your quilt? Oh yeah. I, I mean, I'm just sort of chain piecing these pieces. Um, oh, they're so pretty. So, yeah. Um, I mean, it takes time because I think this is, there's like seven of them that I'm doing right now and, yeah. um, just easier to like do a whole, a whole pile of them. So what I'm doing is I'm going through, um, all of my pieces and I'm, I'm going to just kind of do them this way where I just sort of chain. Cause some of them you can't like just chain like that, but if you work on like the same pieces at the same time, it just makes it go just a tiny bit faster. Um, and when I'm not doing it on a live, it's even faster because for some reason, if I can like get up, use the big cutting table, use the big ironing thing, it just goes faster. Even though you think, oh, well, you're just sitting right there. But this setup is like, it's kind of tedious. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of small, you know, that kind of thing. So once I'm able to kind of sew where I don't have to worry about like a camera and a blah, 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 it goes, it does go a little bit faster. So um <laughs> I have so much sewing to do. <laughs> Once I'm like putting it all together, I think it'll be fine. It's just getting yeah. all the pieces done, you know? It's yeah. just time. It's really beautiful though. It's coming out. I I couldn't really imagine it because when you showed us like the printed out thing, yeah, it's hard to imagine what it's gonna look like. But the more progress you make on it, the I'm like, I just my mouth's like hangs open and I stare at it. It's so pretty. I just, I, I know I feel the same way. It's like, you, yeah. just, you there's no way to really imagine stuff. And when it's coming together, it's like, that's the sort of thing. Why it's sort of like why I love seeing what people are doing because to see something that's like, not just a picture of something like, like a, yeah. not even a picture, but you know, like a mock-up, it's just paper, you know, it's yeah. like, it's, it looks so much different. And then it depends on like the fabric you use and how the fabric, um, you know, cause everybody looks at, um, this fabric and whether it's Libs Elliott, uh, phosphor or whether it's, uh, thatched because it's another fabric. That's just when you see it in gorgeous in, in actual quilts mm -hmm. and how it just, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So Yeah. I love it. Okay. So, um, our, all of my contact information and events is in the description box below. And I want to let you know that I believe if I'm not wrong, if I'm wrong, correct me, but that event is still running a special on her piecing it real membership where you get half off the first month. Yep. Is that correct? Okay. Yep. yep. Well, if y'all are interested in learning how to paper piece um, and getting patterns along the way with that, the club comes with pattern, all kinds of beautiful patterns. Plus Yvette is doing a beautiful block of the month right now. We are starting month three and I'm super excited. I actually am keeping up with it and I love the way the blocks are turning out. So yeah. Um, Me too. Me too. Now's the time to join. <laughs> now is the time. And yep. I can see that Heather has been saying she's sorry for being a downer. I just want to say, um, don't, don't ever think that way. I know Stephanie feels the same as me. This is, yeah. you know, it's your community too. And we want to know what's going on with you. Um, so yeah. really, I mean, 
the the one thing that we do is we support you and the other thing that we do is we try to as much as you possibly can take your mind off it you know doing mm-hmm. some sewing doing some just talking about hey i'm making some soup i mean seriously like yeah even the like simple things like that can can help and that's why we are here and so, then you have a whole community of ladies um rooting for you too so yeah, yeah. definitely you're in our prayers and um yep. Yeah. So don't ever apologize for that. We all have something going on. Um, So on that note, we're going to go ahead and say good (laughs) night. Thank you all for coming and hanging out with us and a special thank you to a vet. I really appreciate you being here. I love when we get to sew together. I know I do too. I do. (laughs) Y'all go over to sew. Yeah. Enjoy your night and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Bye.